Welcome to the University of Rochester Pathology video series. My name is Katherine Artemov, and in this video, I will be reviewing the normal histology of the prostate. Using the NanoZoom digital pathology slides, available in the U of R histology folder, we will examine the microscopic anatomy of the prostate. Feel free to locate slide 146 and follow along as we explore this prostate cross-section. The prostate consists of three regions called the transition, central, and peripheral zones. The transition zone surrounds the prostatic urethra, while the central zone surrounds the utricle and ejaculatory ducts. The majority of the prostatic volume, however, is located in the peripheral zone. This is the area most often sampled by needle biopsies of the prostate gland, and it is the site where the majority of prostate cancer occurs. Therefore, this video will concentrate on the peripheral zone. You can see here that the outermost area of the prostate, or the capsule, is a thin layer composed of connective tissue, and it contains some smooth muscle fibers, blood vessels, and nerves. The interior of the prostate, on the other hand, is primarily composed of an array of tubuloalveolar glands, which can be identified by their irregularly shaped papillary infoldings. The glands of the prostate are surrounded by secretory pseudostratified columnar epithelium. They are embedded into what is known as a stroma, which incorporates connective tissue and smooth muscle. The stroma contracts during ejaculation in order to expel any intraluminal glandular secretions. You can also see a layer of basal cells located between the epithelium and the stroma. These basal cells aid in the regeneration of epithelial cells. Note that the majority of normal epithelial cells of these glands do not contain nucleoli, whereas basal cells do. As mentioned before, prostatic glands produce intraluminal secretions. Sometimes these secretions can calcify into concretions called corpora amylacea, as you can see in slide 147. These concretions are completely normal in the prostate gland and increase in frequency with age. In summary, the peripheral zone is the most abundant section of the prostate and is the region where prostatic glands are located. The glands are irregularly shaped, composed of pseudostratified columnar epithelium with a basal cell layer, and enclosed by a stroma of connective tissue and smooth muscle. This concludes our review of the normal histology of the prostate. Thank you for watching.